Um, what am I gonna do? Oh, what I'll be doing for you guys. Okay, let me stop. I'm gonna put this in the first video because I'm gonna just show y'all how awkward it is to like record something and put on YouTube. Like, I don't know how I'll be doing it, but it's real awkward. So, what I'm supposed to be doing is recording the, uh, what is it? Dreadlocks tag. So, probably wondering why I'm recording inside my bathroom. Yes, I'm recording my bathroom again. Um, it's because clearly, as you guys can see or saw in the previous videos, that the one that I did by my bed, it was okay, but like the lighting was disgusting. So, I'm using my bathroom again. All right, so the first question. Do you remember the specific moment you decided you were going to dredge your hair? Where were you and how did you feel? Um, basically, the specific moment, well, it all started when I was two years old. Like, my mom told me that because I was born in Jamaica and I stayed in Jamaica until I was, what, four years old. So, like, my mom told me when I was at, like, two, three years old, I would, like, cry and tell them to stop, you know, on the side of the road in the country. Oh, I want to touch the rest of my hair, this and that. I even wrote a paper on that. So, like, yeah, um, it was when I was around two, three years old in Jamaica and I wanted them at that young age then i got to like eight years old and i told my dad i was like i want dreads and my dad he he the type of person that like if we were to for my like my sister like if she was to put weave in her hair he'll be upset like i don't understand but me asking him for dreads he was very supportive um my mom because the type of hair that i had like in elementary and middle school like my hair it wasn't it wasn't hard to ma maintain, but it was like, it didn't know what texture I wanted it to be. So like it was one minute it was soft, the next minute it was tough. Like she would tell me, oh yeah, I had Feva Kaya. I don't even know what that is. I'm gonna have to Google it and put it in this. But she was like, oh yeah, I had Feva Kaya. So it's like, okay. All right, so when I told her I wanted to dredge, she was like, all right, well, you need to do your research to see who can do it and how they're gonna do it. So it just so happened that my cousin, my cousin, she used to do dreads when she lived in New York, I believe. So I, I asked her, I contacted her and I was like, um, you know, I'm coming to Jacksonville for 4th of July weekend. You're gonna be there. Can you do my dreads for me? And she was like, sure. So yeah. July 3rd, 2011 was when I did dreads, when I started my dreads. Um, where were you and how did it feel? I was in Jacksonville and I must say that, you know, I think I was what, 14? I don't know, I'm, not, I'm getting the numbers mixed up, but I know 2011, going into the ninth grade, I was kind of scared because ninth grade, well, in ninth grade, I was kind of heavy set, like I told you guys in the All About Me video. And like, my face was fat. And I was like, okay, so I'm transitioning from, you know, Ashley with the braids and Ashley with the braids and the um, puff or whatever. And I'm gonna get dreads. And I know that when you start dreads, your hair is shrink. So all of this wasn't there. It like stopped that right here. I'll show you guys a picture. And I was I was somewhat scared, but my friend um, my friend Amari, I was texting him throughout the entire the entire process, and I was like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I, I was telling him like, oh I don't know if I should continue this and that, but he was very supportive as well. So yeah, what method did you use? Um, she used the the rat tail comb. I think that's what it's called. You know the little orange combs, and like it has the long stick. I don't have one because you know clearly I can't use it. But she used one of those and she took the hair and then I guess she did like that with the comb and then she finished like this. So I guess palm roll. Um, what is the length of your shortest dread and the longest dread? Seriously? I don't know. I must say that 
this would have to be by far the longest thread like I'm standing in so yeah where is it this would have to be my longest thread and now my shortest thread I don't know what my shortest thread is well it probably has to be this I don't know I know that's the longest by far the longest and the shortest I don't know I can't tell you the shortest and I don't know how long this is either I never measured it um, do you have any dreads that are especially unique strange or awesome show I have to show you guys well like I said this is my longest dread let me not fall and bust my butt this is my longest dread so this would be awesome um, there was a point in time where I had a shell on my dread, but then on one of my dreads, but then I guess the end got too thick and the shell couldn't fit anymore, so I had to take it off. So that I'll count that as like one of my unique dreads, but I don't remember which one it is. Um, strange dreads, probably this one right now at the moment, because it, you as you guys know, I did the double twist thing, and I guess the way, um, the rubber band was on it this is how it dried so like i have a hook so i guess this is the strangest thread in this video and it's the longest how old are your dreads so i started my dreads in 2011 so therefore they are four years old next year july 3rd it'll be five years old how many dreads do you currently have is that the same number you started with so the first time I counted my dreads, I had 97. Such an odd number. Like, why she couldn't give me 100? But I have 97 and I believe I still have 97 because none of them had popped yet. And I haven't started any new ones. And I hope that they don't pop either. Um, what shampoo or what shampoo or other products do you use on your dreads? Okay, so basically, I use any shampoo that is not a detangler. Let me tell y'all a story. So, you know, Argan Oil. Argan Oil has the best smell ever. And my sister, she has natural hair. Like, she has natural curly hair. So, she uses Argan Oil for detangling or whatever. And because I love the smell of it, there was a time where I took her argan oil, saying that I was trying to get the um, the lint on my dreads. I see people talking about, oh, their dreads have lint and this and that. So I went looking for trouble, basically. So I took her argan oil shampoo and her argan oil conditioner, not knowing that the bottle said detangling. I have dreads. These are all knots. These are all tangles. So I took her detangling shampoo and I was like, all right. I love the smell of it, so let me make my dread smell like her shampoo. So I took the detangling shampoo, I washed my hair, and when it was time to retwist it, it was so thin. Like, went to go get the bottle, and the bottle started detangling. I was like, are you serious? And I used it like two times before I realized that it was detangling shampoo. But I use any shampoo that is I don't know what shampoo my loctician uses, but I've seen one of my um, favorite part people with dreads, like they use Dr. Bronner's, this. I haven't used it yet, but I'm gonna try it. It's like an all-purpose um, shampoo or whatever, like people use it in their house for house cleaning and stuff like that, so I don't know, it's probably good. But, so yeah, I use that. Um, as far as conditioner, I don't know what conditioner my loctician uses, but whatever conditioner that we have at home that is not argan oil or anything that's detangling, I use. Um, other products that I use, I use this when I feel that my hair is dry, and I use this to retwist with. Where is it? Where am I locking gel? <gasps> Where's my lock? Oh, it's right here. And I use this. I use it in moderation though. Like I don't go and scoop an entire um, finger full of locking wax. Cause like it just creates buildup. Oh, 
And I also use flaxseed. Like I boil the flaxseed and it, it makes its own wax. And then I use that to retwist whenever I'm feeling, you know, feeling kind of natural, if that makes any sense. Um, do you do any regular maintenance on your dread? <laughs> yes. Whenever I see that my roots are starting to look, you know, jacked up and it's not been through and it has not been three yet, three weeks yet since I got the retwist, I will probably touch it up with the um, Jamaican mango and lime. And I also try to, well, the ends of my dreads and my scalp at least every two weeks. I'm just giving you guys numbers because I don't, I don't keep track of it. I just look at it and be like, oh, your head dry. What are your favorite beads or other decorations? Right now, like I said, I don't have any decorations or beads because my dress, they got, they started to get thick at the ends. So I had to take them out. But my favorite accessory when it was not thick at the ends, hold on, all right. This was my favorite accessory when it, my dreads weren't thick. I had it on one of them, like I believe, it was one of the short ones. Clearly, I can't find any short ones right now, but it was on one of the short ones and can't be on there anymore because it's all thick. So, yeah. Um, if your dreads had their own personal motto, what would it be? Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. would you do anything different first of all i would not want to start a new set of dreads if it comes to a time in my life where i have to i wouldn't do anything differently i probably started um earlier than 2011 like if i had to start before i probably started like when i'm five or something but yeah i wouldn't do anything differently i'll still do the rat tail comb and the palm roll um How many people do you know personally with dreadlocks? Okay, so I have cousins. I have my roommate, she's a dreadhead as well. Um, I had a teacher who had dreads. So I have cousins, I had friend. I have my roommate. Um, my teacher, well my middle school teacher. Um, who else had dreads? I have a quite handful. Um, have any employers turned you down for having dreads and you wanted you back because of your dreads? Okay, well, I've only had one real job in my entire life and that was working at the library and then the two other jobs that I had, I did one week with the House of Representatives in Tallahassee and I got paid a stipend for that and the last job that I've been to was at my mom's office and Everyone likes my hair. Everywhere I go, everyone likes my hair. Like they ask me, oh, um, is this all yours? When did you start? This and that. So I don't think I ever got um, the bird because of my dreads. What is the weirdest question you've gotten about your dreads? The dumbest, the funniest, the most common. The weirdest question would have to be, are those extensions? Which part of this look like extension? Which part I eat? I don't know. The dumbest would be probably are those extensions. Uh, the funniest will probably be are those extensions. Cause I'm gonna look at you like you're stupid and I'm gonna start laughing. Um, and the most common would be are those extensions. I'm joking. That is one of the most common, but I can, I guess I can say the most common would be how long have you had your dreads for? Um, do you have any dreadhead role models? Yes, I do. I love Lock Crush. Like I, like when I get older and have my kids, I hope my dreads look like hers. I hope I'll be able to, you know, be an advocate for the whole natural dreadlocks movement. I like Lock Crush. I love Danielle, Danielle, sorry, Danielle, the girl from Toronto that has dreads. I don't remember her, um, her handle right now. Oh, it's Lady Swag 55. So, Lock Crush, Lady Swag 55, Yanni, the Lockologist, my loctician, it's my dog, and yeah. Is that the end of it? I don't know. 
Is that the end of it? Uh, uh, well, I guess that's the end of it. And hopefully after me uploading this video, no one have no one will have any more questions about my dreads because I think I answered just about everything. <laughs>